Hello there, and welcome to the vlog where we talk about The Mandalorian. This is The Mandalorian Chapter 13, The Jedi. Now, I'm not going to uh, get into recapping this episode just because, you know, these last couple ones have been like 20 minutes long, and that's far too long for me to talk about that. Uh, <clears throat> so we'll just talk about the good stuff. We saw Ahsoka Tano, uh, that, not in cartoon form, uh, as I think a lot of us suspected, Rosa, Rosario Dawson looked awesome as Asako Tan, Ahsoka Tano, and uh, yeah, it was it was great seeing her in live action. Um, like I've said before, she's probably my current favorite Star Wars character, um, and we saw a little bit why. I mean, she's kind of badass, but. Uh, there is some good character motiva motivation behind her. Uh, no, it was just great seeing her. Um, it was great seeing the uh, juxtaposition towards the at the climax of the episode where uh, she was fighting the was it the magistrate. I'm going to call it the Macaro the magistrate. I don't want to remember what she was called. Uh, <coughs> fighting the magistrate, and that was very clearly set up as a like a samurai battle while on the outside of the uh, the palace garden whatever uh, Mandalorian and the chief of security were very much in a uh, western show off so it was nice seeing those two juxtapositions uh, especially considering those are the two big things that Star Wars and subsequently the Mandalorian are based off of uh it was great. You know, it was great to see some uh, Jedi action outside of the uh, the movies, um, and we got good plot stuff. Uh, Baby Yoda, the child. Well, we know his name is Grogu, uh, which ro rolls off the tongue just as easily as uh, the Mandalorian's name is, which I can't remember his last name, but Din. Uh, I'm not complaining, it's just I like being uh, thrown for a loop, and it's not something like Jack Strong, or, you know, a very typical name. Uh, we got some, some, some of my fears alleviated. I was really concerned that Grogu was, uh, was a clone. I was very concerned that he was a clone, and he's not. He's just a normal kid, you know, 50-year-old kid. Uh, who was at the Jedi Temple, and boy, does that have implications. Uh, so, I mean, the fact that he was at the Jedi Temple and that his ears kind of perked up at the mention of Yoda, uh, he definitely knew Yoda. Uh, and we just don't know, you know, when exactly he was taken from the Temple. Uh... But, yeah, he's had some hard times. You know, majority of those those 50 years are going to be, I think I did the math before, I think it was like 40, 42 years. Uh, 43. I think like 43 is like when the, when the battle of Yavin, no, that's all messed up. Anywho, it's, just trust me on this. You know he's had a he's had a rough life, and that explains a lot of his behavior. And uh, it's tough. Like in the latest episode, Ahsoka kind of 
you know, referred to him and talked to him in a way that made it seem like his maturity was greater than what we've seen. Uh, and I imagine that's just because, you know, it's kind of a weird place. He's obviously is a child, uh, but he's experienced a lot more than something like a human would have experienced in that time. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, it was just great seeing Ahsoka. Um, <clears throat> it was even possibly greater to hear her, hear, hear Admiral Thrawn mentioned, um, for a couple reasons. Uh, let's just start from getting Admiral Thrawn, uh, basically, you know, he existed originally in Star Wars as the main villain of the sequel, uh, novels, like the expanded universe, like that takes place now in the continuing after after the uh, Return of the Jedi, and he was, like, the big bad uh, in that follow-up, and I believe it was, it was two or three books. Um, and he's just great, just tremendous, a very, like, tactical genius, uh, perfect foil for this new Republic. Um, so he was super popular. Uh, the problem is, is when... Disney bought Star Wars, all this expanded universe stuff now is no longer canon. So basically, it doesn't even, it doesn't even exist. So, a few years ago, when Admiral Thrawn showed up in um, Star, excuse me, Star Wars Rebels, it was a big deal. It was a way to marry these, you know, the expanded universe with this current continuity. Uh, and I have to admit, I haven't really watched Rebels enough to know his his influence on that. Uh, but I do know, and you know, I guess spoilers for that, at the end of Rebels, like the climax of that, the main hero of it, uh, Rebels, Ezra Bridger, who is... Uh, I mean, he's a, I, I think he's technically a Jedi. I mean, he has Force powers, he has a lightsaber, whatever. Um, him and Thrawn are transported, just sent sent away to, like, far ends of the galaxy, uh, you know, in, in the, I'm not exactly sure what the point of that was, but, again, I, I apologize, I haven't seen it, but I just know that Ezra and Thrawn are sent, sent they're in a star, a star destroyer, and just, boom, they're warped way the heck out there, and, the series ends on a bit of a cliffhanger where uh, a Mandalorian from that series, uh, Sabine, Satine, Sabine. I really should have this stuff straight. So, uh, anywho, the Mandalorian female from from that show, uh, her and ah Ahsoka, are going off to find Ezra, and that's where that series leaves off. Is them going find and it's really cool basically is it seems like you know he this is a couple years later uh Ahsoka's still looking for Ezra so cool cool there's a lot of rumors that that might be a spin-off show and I hope so because Ahsoka looked great um and I think there's so many stories that can be told in this universe that you know, we don't even have to touch on the uh Disney trilogy um, yeah. So, yeah. We, uh, we now have, a, you know, like a new direction, because Ahsoka, you know, did not refuse to train Grogu, uh, which makes sense for her character, I think. Like, it, it makes sense to me. Um, I was getting a discussion with someone, uh, online, uh, She's, I mean, because she was, she was Anakin Skywalker's Padawan, and she's, she's still traumatized by the, the knowledge of him, of him becoming a Darth Vader, um, and I don't think she can really judge anything as far as, like, who's going to turn to the, the dark side or whatever, just because I don't think she truly accepts her master's downfall, or understands it, uh, and we talk more about that another time. I, I do actually want to talk about it. Because uh, I think... 
with all the all the the information we have now, I think it's fair to really kind of put it like a character assessment on Darth Vader, Darth Vader, uh, and his redemption. Uh, that's another time. Anywho, uh, the big thing out there. So now she directed Din and Grogu. Din and Grogu. That sounds good together. Yeah, Din and Grogu to a Jedi temple to you know seek out a messaging stone, a seeking stone, spirit stone. It's a stone where he can he can reach out to Jedi out there, and if they want to, they can answer the call. And, you know, I don't know in this current canon, I haven't read all the, the materials, but, I mean, there's one really pretty big Jedi that active, that's active right now, you know, some dude just called Luke Skywalker, and, I don't know, that's the big question, will they go there, will they bring in a character from the main canon into this at all, I mean, will they tease it? we ever get to that point I don't know I don't know if they want to but I'm going to keep on watching uh, yeah so I'm glad they got this out of the way because um, now I mean I I don't mean this in a bad way but I don't know what to look forward to for the season uh, but I think that's a good thing I think it, I, I, I like to be surprised and I don't want these expectations that I'm putting onto it um, and that's it so I really enjoyed this episode. Uh, again, I was really happy seeing Ahsoka Tano. And, uh, yeah. Did you guys like it? Go ahead and put, put in comments. I think that's what people do in these YouTube videos. You know, I'm obviously not very good at this, but... Yeah. We'll leave it at that. I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you had a great holiday. Hope you have a great weekend. Great week. Hey, have a good time, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.